another way to relate to where this lick goes. Your, your pinky here, these uh, two notes that you're barring, you can think of that as the front part of like the F-shaped version of the same chord, right? If you understand what I mean, that's C, right? So like there's this piece right here, you know, like Chuck Berry. Okay, that's also the top of this. Okay, so it's just another way of thinking about that. And so, so, so yeah. That's how it comes to C, yeah. Yeah, now check this out. If you've, uh, have you, have you, I don't remember offhand, have you done some of the Bob Weir stuff? Like, have you looked at, uh, if you looked at any of the Weir stuff? Yeah, I have. I've done a lot of it, yeah. Okay, so check this out. Um, so, we're looking at this lick. Now, and we look at this C shape over here, the F shape. Now, how about this? This kind of lick, like a, like an early, you know, weird lick. For C. Yeah. So you, you put middle finger on 8th fret 2nd string. Right. And then, then put index finger on 7th uh, fret 3rd string. Yeah, and then hammer this guy on. Yeah, have you played that lick before? Yeah, this one comes up more often with Weir. Okay, and so this is like, this goes with C. So, like, we used to do this, like, all over the place. You might find it in uh, Friend of the Devil, you know. Definitely in China Cat. You know. Um, now. Now check this. Okay, cool. Now check this out. So that's C, because look at what's happening. When we have this finger here, we're hammering into this and going there. So we're basically making, uh, we're making C. See what I mean? And we're just down a fret because we want to hammer on this guy. This is yeah. our major third. Yeah. Now, now that's interesting because this is basically this. See, except it's bending instead of hammering. Right. See what I'm saying? So two different versions of the same thing. This one's more like a piano. And this is more like a steel. And so they can, you know, uh, we'll use this kind of stuff as well. And you, as a, even in his, you know, so in jams or in just backing situations, you can throw some of that in there as well. Okay, and it's just like a standard kind of a lick, you know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it's, it's a great thing to practice for a bunch of different reasons. Right. Is now just put the pinky on the first string where it was. Now take your ring finger and put it over here on the second string. Um, and bend that. So bend the second string. Yeah, keep, keep with the... I'd want to do it with these fingers. <laughs> like that? Okay, because look, you can put that on the front end of that lick. So this can go like this. <laughs> 